makes it really creamy. <coughs> Creamier taste than coffee. So I usually have coffee every morning without fail. I used to have green tea, but I got bored. So I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. Today's Tuesday, the 6th of June. I think I've already said that. Um, it's horrible outside today. It's meant to be summer. It's summer. No, it's not, it's still spring. When is summer? I think summer's 21st of June, the longest day of the year. Or the shortest, is it the longest? Longest, I don't know. So today um, I'm getting one of my tattoos coloured in. This one here. It's gonna be pink and blue, pink and blue. I'll show you after. It was booked in for 12 o'clock, but um, it's now 10 past 10 and I'm like ready. The reason why I said to go in at 12 was just because I didn't think I would be up on time because I wanted to lie in. But I ended up getting up about 20 past eight, which is usually quite late for me because I'm always up at about. Naturally, I wake up at like six o'clock. I don't know why. Just my brain wants to wake me up at six and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I want to sleep. So we had breakfast this morning at about nine o'clock. I um, just had some oats um, with milk, which is my usual. And then some syrup over the top. Because I love syrup, I'm just obsessed with sugar. Um, and then I've had my first cup of coffee, which is really late for me today, 10 past 10. And it's my first coffee. Usually I'm on like my third coffee. <laughs> I'm a sugar addict, I'm a coffee addict, but it will get better. Um, so today, yes, I'll be taking you to the tattoo shop and I will be showing you my colour that I have done. Um, I feel really like tired today, stupidly tired, just don't feel with it at all. But then I was up to like half one. I'm also trying to get um, better with vlogging because I'm really bad at vlogging. I'm always like Snapchatting and Instagramming, but I think I need to start putting all those stories on an actual camera so it's all in one place. I think I need to get um, a bigger memory card as well because it just keeps running out of memory and I'm never editing my videos on my camera so I just need to like actually sit down, make time to edit my videos and upload my videos because I'm just not doing enough content on my fitness channel. I've had this mug since I was 18. I think that's why I'm a bit of a jungle queen, to be fair. So, we are about to head off, but first I feel like I'm missing something. You know when you're missing, you feel like you're missing something? I don't think I am. Um, I need to, have I got money? Yes. Phone? Yes. Keys? Yes. I think that's it. I still feel like I'm missing something. Though. I hate feeling like this. Um, first, I need to go to Tesco to get um, a drink. Even though I could actually just get a drink from home, but I'm thinking, I don't know whether to have a style or not. It's raining, it's actually horrible. Um, I don't usually vlog like this, which is a bit weird, but. Um, it's actually horrible. So, Tesco, get a drink, get some Costa, some Costa, get a Costa, and I think I will be ready to, I will be ready to have my tattoo done. What's the time? Half 10, that's quite good actually. Quarter to 11, it's quarter to 11. So I'm a little bit later than planned, but it doesn't matter. Also, this necklace I got from Topshop is my astrological sign. <laughs> you know, so I'm born in July, um, and this is so, like, look, just how pretty is that? Can't remember how much it was, I think it was about £8. I got one at the weekend, but it broke straight away. Everything I buy just wants to break straight away, which is really frustrating, but... I wonder if I can put that on there. Will it slide off? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm getting in Tesco. Do I want water? Do I want a coffee? I've just had a coffee. I don't think I should have another coffee. I might have some, might get some water. Do I even need to go to Tesco? I, don't, I think I'm just like, now I'm thinking I'm just doing it just for doing it's sake. I don't know how this is gonna be because I'm actually driving with that freaking camera. 
It's definitely not going to work, is it? I don't really want to. I can always put it like that. Because I didn't see any single packs of crisps and I was like, I can't eat all the crisps by myself. Well, I probably could, but I didn't want to. <laughs> um, so I got one pack of Snacker Jack Simon Vinegar. And then for drink, I just got um, an apple juice. Which I don't know if it will last me through the whole tattoo, but at least I need some sugar. I just feel like when you have tattoos done, um, you need to make sure you eat. Just eat. <laughs> I eat all the time anyway, so... <laughs> It's no change for me then. Um, but some like the tattoo, like it actually genuinely wears you out. People will think, oh yeah, it's just a tattoo. No, I'm having a needle like scraped in my arm for like however many hours. It's not fun experience. It is when it's done, but it's not fun when you're going through it. So I have to make sure I'm high in sugar. High in sugar? Yeah, and I think I've got some Haribos left. Maybe I threw them away. I think I threw the Haribos away. I had them last time actually when I had my tattoo done, so that's why. So yeah, we're going to have our tattoo done now. My battery's on red, so I need to save my battery. Might have to record on my phone, but that's okay. Bye. Battery's low. But I've had my elbow done, my arm done. Need a good light. That's way to double six, triple seven. Direct redress. Experts in finance. Can you see it? Times. It's just, it's already recording. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is done before I go on holiday. That looks sick. So, um, I've just washed my tattoo. So, it looks a little bit fresher now. Um, so, obviously, that gap there will be filled in when I come back off holiday because I go on holiday in July. So, I can't have any more done because it won't heal properly because I'm just going to roast myself in the sun. So, um, that is that. But it looks really nice already, that pink and blue bit. So, I'm really happy with it. Um, now, we are off to the gym. We're training um, shoulders and triceps and don't know to do a little bit of chest. Don't know. Um, so, Shoulders. Shoulders is becoming one of my favourite days to train because I like getting like a good shoulder pump. I'm going to get more of my tattoo as well like on my shoulder because I want it to sort of like, at the minute it just looks like quite flat on my shoulder but I think if I have it more rounded like where my muscle actually is it will just make it look fuller. Um, so that's my plan. So yeah, head into the gym. So, train some shoulders. Um, so I finished my shoulder workout and tricep workout but it was probably the worst workout I've ever done because you know when you just like not feeling a workout I just wasn't feeling it and I ended up doing like 10 minutes of high incline walk on the treadmill obviously not on the bike and um, for 10 minutes but you know what sometimes you lose motivation and what I say to that is that it is okay to lose motivation um, I'm currently sat in my car at home because it is absolutely tipping it down and I can't bring myself to get out and get soaked even though my house is just there hence why I'm doing this vlog right now because I'm trying to wrap I'm trying to feel a car talk really loudly because you can't hear me over the rain. Can you hear me? Oh no, it's hailstones. So now I can't even get out of the car. 
child has always been tortured by stones. Looks like I'm sleeping here tonight then. Although I think it's just died down. So I'm gonna go before it gets any heavier. Like it has, oh my god, I think I just whacked my bottle on this side. But I'm gonna go, like, it's horrible. I'm gonna drop, drop everything. So we made it inside. <laughs> Look at the hair where it's all, um, wow, that light and change was mental. So um, made it inside. So I was saying in the car about like losing motivation. Um, like it's okay to lose motivation. Sometimes you just need a break and then you can get back into it again. I'm happy to do a video on like keeping motivation or how I try to keep motivation if you are interested in that. So let me know. Be sure to follow my social media. I need to eat something because I'm hungry. I'm not even hungry. Like I haven't really been hungry recently. And I don't know why. But I just haven't been that hungry. I don't know. Um, so I need to eat some food. And then I need to give this a wash as well. That looks really dark. This bit wasn't going to be on my vlog. But I felt like in the moment. I felt like I had to share it. Um, I actually just right now got um, approached by someone and someone who's in a relationship. Their partner wants them to get a better body because their partner is a model. So this person feels like they need to live up to the standards of their partner. They want advice on how to get a better body so they can live up to their partner. My advice would be you shouldn't be with someone who tells you to change change because you want to change not because somebody else is telling you the way that they want you to be um the way they want you to look the way they want you to act and know that you are enough as you are you are different you are unique there's no one here on planet earth that is like you you are your own person and you need to realize that you are good enough you can do anything you want. You don't need someone there to tell you what to do. If you're happy with how you are, then that should be enough. That should be more than enough. And as difficult as it is to push some people away, sometimes you need to just sit down and think to yourself what you deserve. And you deserve so much more and people who are bringing you down or making you change. It's their own insecurities that is the reason why they are telling you to change. And um, it, it, it honestly saddens me a little bit because sometimes you feel like you're not good enough and everyone does. Everyone has imperfections. Every single person does. And some, you just have to learn to embrace your insecurities as well. I did a massive video on my vlog about insecurities and accepting insecurities. Um, and it's just recently that I've started accepting my insecurities. Um, and you will find someone who does also accept your insecurities. And they will treat your insecurities as perfection, like they will. That's the, when you are blessed with an amazing person. is when they just accept you for who you are. Without you having to feel embarrassed or feeling like you can't, you know, achieve something that you want to achieve support that's what it comes down to is support just know that you are enough you are good enough as you are and don't let people change you experiences will come through life where you do change you change mentally and it shapes who you are who you are today right now you are this person because of your experiences because of how people have treated you what you've experienced that is who you are right now and it's shaped you it's formed you into this person you need to stop letting people try and change you f for the worse yeah. so that's that's all i have to say just know that you are good enough and you can do anything that you set your mind on anything the world is your oyster you can do anything dream big keep the dream alive that's what my arm says right there my tattoo, <laughs> just in case you didn't know already.